coming up on this week's episode of Life in the West. I, I, I see the bull is out though. <laughs> Just like kind of an ear piercing. No, 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 no. I'm just gonna warn you about this video. It's gonna make you feel things. Now, there's a lot of things that ranchers do that are just not shown. Ranchers are afraid to show what they actually do because some of it can make you feel what you don't want to feel. You're removed from your food so far now that it's very difficult for them to see the reality of life. This is really raw. This is behind the scenes. This is just you and me, just you and me. And I, I left it kind of raw with the edit. I wanted you to kind of be there with me and feel what it's like just to do some of the things that we do that may be hard for you to watch. Good morning. This morning I just have a, a small task. I got a, a little calf in here that we brought in yesterday and I, he needs an ear tag. So I'm gonna create an ear tag and kind of show you what that is. Then I'm gonna get my horse and rope the little guy uh, to put the ear tag on. If, if you catch them in the first couple days of their life, you can, uh, it's not real hard to, I, I see the bull is out though. Get in there, buddy. How did you get out of there? Oh, I see the gate's open on the other end. All right, so we're gonna get to go tag this calf. That was, the bull went right back in there. He was just standing on the outside of the pen. Somehow he got that gate open on the other side of the corral there. <laughs> Hey, big feller. Yeah, good morning, buddy. Oh, bud. Oh, bud. got a cat doing something around here yep chewing on my altar rope the hay all over you must have laid down huh When you're saddling, put this blanket. You want it even on both sides and you want the front of your pad right where their withers, there's a hump here of withers, right where it transitions to their neck. You want the front edge of your pad right there. Okay, so you want your saddle sitting, want your saddle sitting back near the front of your pad. Doesn't matter necessarily on the back, unless you have something that hangs over the back of your saddle. But you want a little bit of pad in front of your saddle, because that's where your problems will arise.
I tighten my cinch up just a little bit until, until right before I get on. And then I tighten it up all the way from there. And I tighten my back cinch up this morning. I'll be roping something. Even though it's not big, I'll be roping something. So tighten that up. <clears throat> Most people don't ride with a breast collar in the rest of the United States, but I do because we're in the mountains. If you're riding in the mountains, you're going to want a breast collar. Keeps your saddle from sliding backwards too far. Okay. Okay, so to put a tag on a calf, I know a lot of you have probably seen this in one of my other videos, but first you have to mark the the tag. This is the tag right here. This is what will hang from their from their ear. It's just like kind of an ear piercing, is what it is. It's just a tool that just pops it right through their ear. And it's a way you can kind of identify your cows, like who their mother is, that kind of thing for the for the individual rancher. The reason that you can't just use these and you have to still use a brand is because these are very easily removed. So on the back, I'm just gonna put my dad's brand here. If an honest person saw it, they would know that's my dad's brand. On the front, I'm gonna put a one and that will be a for the year because there's 26 of them so you can just go through each letter and then he's number one for this year i think this thing is pretty permanent <laughs> i do terrible with ink can't can't keep it off of me i'm gonna slip it right in here just like that and then when you click this thing together, it will punch right through their ear. You can see that. Just like a putting an ear earring in. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. It's the first time I've ever ridden this horse with a halter. So we'll see how this goes. No, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. So. Let's see if I can move just a little calf. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, this is a really good lesson for this horse. This horse is still five years old and he hasn't had a lot of riding up until now so he's not extremely experienced in any of this stuff so we're gonna we're gonna rope this calf I haven't decided whether I'm gonna rope him like head him or or heal him he's kind of a little see how fast they are now Ooh, no, no. No, 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 no. And this horse is not really, he's not really sure about this rope. Whoa. So we want to be really nice and, but I don't really want to get him riled up either. As soon as he goes that way. There you go. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, my horse is not used to this crap <laughs> or this stuff, and so you gotta you gotta make sure that you get. It's good to have a little one, so you can kind of practice on him. 
kind of bad for the little guy, but my horse needs it. There you go. Let's see if he'll turn away now. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. See? There you go. Good, good, good. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Now, we gotta see how we can get this, get close enough. With this calf, I can work my way up here a little bit. See if I can get off now. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh. We gotta get him. Keep him tied there. Oh, oh. Get my ear tagger off. Make sure the mother doesn't kill me. Okay. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. Okay. Stay there. No, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Whoa, whoa. You gotta keep him. Keep him down here. And then, whoop. There you go. Whoa, buddy. Oh, bud. This is a lot trickier for the horse that doesn't know what he's doing because this is the first time he's ever done this. So he's nervous. The mom's nervous. The baby's nervous. Watch that cow. Make sure she don't take me out. There we go. Now, should be able to come over here. I'll do the left ear, which is this one. So we're gonna go left ear. Watch out for the cow. Right here. And just go pop. Just like that. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Good. 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 See? Not that big a deal. See? So you gotta teach him that it's okay. Teach him that it's okay. And let's see if I can get him to back up a little bit with that. Yeah, there you go. Good. 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 Good job. See? Good, now come forward. Good. Good. Okay, let's take the rope off him, okay? So we're gonna unflip that coil. I'm gonna grab this right here, take it off. There you go, buddy. There you go, little guy. Sorry about that. There you go. Now you got a tag in ya. You stay there. That's his first, that's your first calf ever doing it this way. Yep, that's your first one ever. I know, it's scary, isn't it? Everything's going on and people are, things are pulling on your saddle and everything. It's just so scary. Yeah, it's scary, huh, bud? Huh, buddy? You did all right. You tried to, you thought I was going to lose you there at the beginning. <laughs> Well, you might think that that's a little overly stressful for the calf, and you're right. It's more stressful than it really needs to be um, because you, you could 
do it a different way. You'd have to take him off of his mother though. And that's cause, causing some stress. But you also have to consider that you have to get the horses used to what that what they're doing. That's a small calf. If if now I need to do this with some bigger ones to brand them. There's no way I can do that unless he's comfortable, this horse is comfortable with what we're doing. So a small calf like that is good practice because they're they're young enough and small enough he can kind of pull them around without a whole bunch of fighting. When a 600 pound calf or a 450 pound calf starts jerking on his saddle horn, that's gonna be a lot different experience. So he's gotta learn how to deal with that jerking on the saddle horn and the cow flopping all over the place and the rope going everywhere. And there's no other way to get him used to that than just doing it. And I'd rather do it with a small one because I have to rope the big ones. And if I have to rope the big ones, he better be used to the small ones first. So that's, that's it for today. Make sure you subscribe to all of my stuff. I'm, I'm everywhere on Facebook, uh, Life in the West on Facebook, and uh, YouTube stuff, and then TikTok. Make sure you go to the description down below and join my Telegram group as well. For all, I try to post everything there so you guys have a, a way to find every piece of content that I post. That would be Telegram. All right, see you next time.